All right, it is a new day and a new feature for Steam Input. A stable client update just dropped and they added in directional swipe for gyro and trackpad. This was a feature that was in beta for a couple weeks, a little while. I, I tried it in the beta. I didn't dig into it too much, so I thought, you know, what the heck? Let's just dig in and see what we can do. So on a full pull left trigger, we will switch. Let's do a mode shift. So actually, yeah, all right, let's 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 do this first. So left trigger, full pull. Um, and let's just make this W, A, S, D. Because really, I feel like what this is doing is making direction pad on gyro work kind of as I always wanted it to work. Full pull. I am having to turn that. Look at all that. Ugh. I can't even get the... There it goes. Jeez. I have to tilt it so far. Like, I am actually... Like, okay, imagine I'm a samurai. <laughs> to, to go forward, I'm like holding the sword up to my forehead. I have to tilt the controller so much. And the roll... It just... Yeah, that... It has never felt right. It's always felt really clunky. And I've gone in there. I've messed with the neutral angle. It's just... You can't control the... The dead zone. It is, there's such a large dead zone. But if we do direction swipe, now a limitation with it. Well, for one, this is nice that we get roll or yaw. So the one limitation is if we just go W A S D. Just just for a, an example, let's go always on. All right, full pull. Well, that, that is interesting. All right, let's, <laughs> let's go in there and check that. Cause actually what I was going to say was one limitation is it's not going to keep firing the button. So what was happening up here is it was just hitting it once. So you would need to make it a toggle. This is not set to toggle, no. That's that's kind of weird. I wonder if that's just some little bug. So now I flick it up and it goes. I let go of the trigger, he stops. Toggle. I just let go of the trigger. I'm still holding the gyro, but it'll turn off. But why is it doing it for left and right? Because you can see when I go, when I flick down, it's just a little... It just flickers. Let's just go into odd behavior aside. I would never use this for WASD. <laughs> That's just an example. So I'm thinking, let's do like up is reload. Um, down could be change optics. I think I made an in-game binding for this to be left and right on the d-pad to be a toggle toggleine I can just yaw left and right I mean I could change that to be a roll now we fire full pull flick up that feels pretty good uh, full pull flick down uh -oh, now I just fired All right, full pull Flick down. Go way less. Try that. And actually for this, let's do a roll. Just because I have that bound to lean. Let me try what happens with Q. 
because that is really strange that that's not firing a single time. When I played with this in beta, it was behaving like a start press, which it is on the top, the up and down. Okay, yeah, so it's like a start press. It's not... I mean, that was a toggle, but the... Get back to the center. All right. <laughs> hey, this is what happens when we just play with things. So yeah, I really haven't tested this much, so I wanted to just dig in here. Let's, um... I think I know what's going on. I want to make this right pad touch. Just to give me an easy recenter. Alright, let's try that. So we hold in. Nothing. Right pad. Yes, those those leans are getting really screwy with me right now. Okay, I don't want those. I just want to test reloading and optics. Down. 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 One misfire there. Down. Down. Up. Up. Okay, that is that is working pretty good. Down. A oh, little misfire. I don't have the sensitivity figured out yet. Down. Down. Put this back to yaw. Let's go left to be change optics. Fire mode is F. Okay. So nothing, let's uh... make the controller bigger. It's alright. Full pull. Jerk up to reload. I cannot get it to hit the... It's not roll, it should be yaw. Test the bipod. So full pull, down. Okay, that works. Down. Up. Up and down are working, but... That, yeah, that's weird. Oh, you freaking idiot, that's why. I need to be aiming down sight. <laughs> oh, boy. There we go. <laughs> it works. Sorry, right. flick, flick, flick. Fire mode. Up to reload. So now getting into it, I think. Not doing left and right. For the gyro, so hear me out. And lowering the sensitivity but making it always on. So, all right, so we're like in a firefight, full pull, flick up. That, that feels pretty good. Cause you're already, well, I mean, this game is a little different cause you toggle, aim down sights, but all right, we're aiming in. We're firing, we full pull, quick little jerk up and then reload. It, it tells, the game tells me that I can use the bipod by that icon up top. So it's showing the bipod. So, all right. Like, we're in a, f a firefight, we're shooting, whatever. I full pull, flick down. Now I'm centered. Now I'm using my bipod. Full pull, flick down. Now I'm up. Oh, I just reloaded. So I need to get the, the feel of it, the sensitivity. It's because I have that set to always on. But... I do like that as a full pull flick up. 
That feels pretty nice. Yeah. So, all right. We've done that. Let's try... Let's try it as an actual swipe. Let's do the same thing. Left trigger, full pull. Now for this, let me just go through the actions. Whoops. Just so we can test it again. To make sure, is it firing as a... Start press? I believe that is going to be the behavior. So, alright. We'll make this... Be... Uh, right, just because I don't want it to enact right now. It's okay. Got my gyro. Yeah, see here it is absolutely behaving as a start press. I'm flicking. So let's play with that. Let's try the scroll wheel. And then also let's try keypad enter. So click action, click action. Yeah, that's my change view, so let's test that. Full pull, click pad enter. Alright, so that works. Doesn't really I mean ugh. It's trying to fire it multiple times. For that, we will take scroll wheel off. But here is where you would make it a toggle. So flick up. Yeah, that that works. Because then it's it's under a mode shift, so I'm in the mode shift, which is full pull left trigger. I flick up. That's toggling W. I just let go of the trigger. It's out of the mode shift, so it disables the toggle. Flick up. Flick up again to turn it off. Flick up, flick up to turn it off. So yeah, you'd want to make it a toggle if you wanted it to be a continuous action. Make that a Q. Make it a toggle. Full pull, flick, flick, flick. Let go, it turns it off. So that, that opens up some more options. I think on the gyro that felt really weird. That so let's go back. Yeah, let, let, I, I need to go back to the gyro. So, okay, we have... It's always on. Back left trigger. Why was it firing these all the time? It's not a toggle. It's not turboed. And scroll wheel's off. Okay, wait. Wait. Yeah, that's... That's weird. That's got to be a bug. Because it doesn't do that for W. It doesn't do that for up and down. But anyways, that, that is a pretty cool little thing. I like... I do like that as a flick up to reload. Firing, flick up. I dig it. So yeah, that is directional swipe for gyro or trackpad. So all right, yeah, that's all I got. I will see you around. Plump, juicy wieners are dipped in a thick, golden, southern-style corn batter that seals in all their freshness and flavor. If you like hot dogs, you love corn dogs. Everybody does. Try a corn dog with your favorite beverage. At the refreshment corner now. Corn dogs.